Serena Dunn. Most people are raised in a house with just their mom and dad. My story is a little different. My grandparents have been two of the greatest influences in my life. My grandma and grandpa are really important to me and have done more for me than I could have ever imagined. The feelings I had for them as a child have grown from love as a young child to love, respect, and admiration as a teenager. These feelings continue to get stronger. My visual aid today is myself and the person that I have grown into. My grandparents have shaped who I am and I try to live up to their expectations of who I should be. My grandma, Irma Dunn, is going to turn 70 this year, still does so much you would think she's 40, and has always been a superhero in my eyes. My grandma has always been a huge part of my life in so many ways. When I was little and my parents got divorced, she would help my dad by picking me up on the alternating weekends and driving me the two hours back home. She was by my side when I lost my first tooth, and she put the, pillow, the money under my pillow that night. She was the one who drove me to the ER when I sprained my neck trying to do backflips on the trampoline. One of my memories is from when she was probably 60 and I was 8 or 9. She took me roller skating. After begging and pleading with her, she got a pair of roller skates and came out there with me. She fell and bruised up her arm and legs, but the point of that is that she did everything with me. She does exactly the same with all of us grandkids. She always goes out of her way to make sure we are happy. My grandma does all the things your typical grandma does. Bakes cookies, cooks meals for holidays, gets the stains out of my clothes, and sews up any rips or tears I might get in them. She has always been my rock, the person I can trust, and the one who holds our whole family together. In May 1965, my grandma married my grandpa, Bill Dunn. My grandpa owned a fertilizer business in a small town called Middletown. One of my favorite memories with my grandpa is riding in the semi with him. The truck didn't have a passenger seat, so he put a comforter in there, I read my, and I read my book while he drove. My grandpa and I had very similar personalities. We were both stubborn and had a tendency to think that we were always right, which made simple conversations turn into simple little arguments just so someone could get the last word in. My grandpa taught me how to work hard and how to be persistent to get what I deserve. My grandpa passed away this past year on April 20th. This was a really tough day for everyone in my family. While some people see their grandparents once or twice a year, or, even, or maybe even once a month, I was at my grandparents' house every day from the time I was in third grade until I started high school. In October 2008, my grandparents dropped the things they had going on and filed for guardianship of me. I lived with them until 2014 when I started high school. I was in foster care for six months because my mom couldn't take care of my siblings and I. My dad lived with my grandparents. My grandma and grandpa put their lives on hold and took me in to live with them. They enrolled me at the private school that was about 15 minutes away, and one of them drove me there every day. My grandparents supported everything I did, from taking me to basketball or softball practice in middle school to volunteering to drive for field trips at school. My grandparents taught me what faith is, who God is, and how me baptized and confirmed. Without my faith, I would not be the person I am today. My parents don't believe in God, but growing up, when I was with my grandparents on the weekend, we attended church. As I grew up, they tried to make sure my faith grew with me. In 2014, as I was about to begin high school, I wanted to attend Community R6, which wasn't in the district my grandparents lived in. The guardianship transferred to my Aunt Paula, and I moved in with her. I still went and saw my grandparents as much as I could. I still stayed with them on the weekends. And I now work in Middletown, where my grandma lives, and every Monday, I get to go back home and have lunch with her. The conversations we have now are both simple and important, just like the ones we had when I was a little girl. My grandparents have given me so much support through life, and I wouldn't be where I am today without them. They have always been there for me, no matter how big or small the issue. We all have people that come and go in our lives, but grandparents are forever. Here, here. I thought you were going to start crying.